Welcome back. All right, guys. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm alive, good enough, feeling well enough to make another video. Still, obviously, not 100%, but you know, I'm finally feeling able, motivated, ready to do these videos again. It's been a long, been a long uh, 10 days for me, but uh, you know, finally ready to get back into the group of things. And so, without further ado, I thought, what is the best way for me to get back into the group of things? With the Dodgers video, I mean, this is my team. What other way to feel more at home than talking about the Dodgers? I mean, really, like, this is a perfect timing for this video because last night's game, Kansas Cincinnati Reds, the Dodgers and the Reds, you know, going at it. And the Dodgers jumped out to a pretty nice lead there over the Cincinnati Reds, 8-3 to three lead. They had a five-run lead in the fourth inning. And, you know, as much as there's a lot of game, there definitely was a lot of game left. And when they got the lead, I'm like, okay, there's a lot of game left, but 8-3 lead against the Reds. This should hang on to the chance that they come back probably like five percent or less so the uh, dodgers got this one in the bag but uh you know as the game kind of dried along you just kind of got that feeling like you know the dodgers are really letting the reds just hang around into the ball game and they did they they let them hang around in the ball game and in the end the reds walked off on the dodgers it was a special night in cincinnati you know a lot of storylines to begin with as the Reds called up their top prospect, Ellie De La Cruz. This kid is going to be pretty special. In my opinion, it, it, it's easy to obviously say that, right? But, I mean, don't tell Neil Cruz this, but I think this guy's going to be a little bit better. I, I really do. Like, this guy is, is more built to be, you know, at, at his stage right now, at the poise in the box as far as such. So, I think at the end of the day, I'm not saying you know, O'Neal Cruz is the bad player, but I think Ellie De La Cruz is a really good player and he's going to be really good for the Reds. And, he has a lightning bat speed, lightning speed. He's a really good player. So the Reds got a good one, Ellie De La Cruz. I think the Cincinnati Reds overall are heading the right direction as far as the rebuild goes. They have the same record as San Diego Padres. Don't tell Padre fans that, but they have the same record as San Diego Padres. The main focus of this video is the Dodgers bullpen, the Dodgers management, and Dave Roberts and Andrew Friedman. This has been the problem for not only this year, but the last 10 years and especially this year so this year for the dodgers they don't have a, a certified closure and they're kind of going by the closure by committee role you know there's nobody actually certified as a closer and, and so you're seeing numbers you know numerous guys go into the ninth inning and, and try to close games i think it's no secret that evan phillips is the best closer for the dodgers anyone that follows the dodgers knows that evan phillips is the best guy in the bullpen for the dodgers and he should be closing games in the ninth inning for the Dodgers, which he has, but he has not to the extent that he probably should, right? Today's game, which has been done out plenty of full times, he brings in Evan Phillips in the eighth inning to face the the heart of the Reds order, right? I think it was two, three, four, something like that. One, one, two, three, a two, three, four in the Reds lineup. He gets to the lineup with 11 pitches, only 11 pitches. He could have easily gone back out to the ninth. You know, you're, you're putting pressure on him for a six out save, but he could have done that. But either way, you're still overmanaging, right? You, you get to that point, you're overmanaging, you're, you're doing way too much. And then he brings in Caleb Ferguson, and then he brings in Caleb Ferguson, who in the last game didn't do that good either. He, he brought in Caleb Ferguson, the Dodgers were losing to the Yankees in the ninth inning, but he brings them in, down to the one, and he, he pretty much gives up the game. Opie is a two-run homer, you know, brings the Yankees up to four to one, and, and Ferguson did not look ready for the ninth inning. He looked good early on, so not so good lately. So the thing is, Dodgers over manage baseball games can we just play baseball can we just play baseball the Dodgers have a hard problem with just playing baseball they, they they just do they have a hard problem with just like filling the game out and playing ball they, they just do in every circumstance frustrating as a fan it's very frustrating to be a fan of this team at times it just it, they're, they're they're this my my school close but they just Never get it done. So the overmanagement, the overmanagement by Dave Roberts, Andrew Friedman, but especially Andrew Friedman and Co. Like Friedman and Dave Roberts, they are running the show uh, off of computer-generated numbers, number crunching, which I talked about this October after the loss of the Padres. You, you can't play baseball off of numbers crunching. You, you just cannot. And listen, I haven't watched many Rangers games in full, but Bruce Bochy is over there now in his first season, and the Rangers are 20 games over 500. And, and both she like retired for like a few years and, and look what he's done for the Rangers. So I just know that he's running that team really good as a baseball mind, not looking at computer numbers, generating, you know, over managing, like he's just playing baseball. The Dodgers do not play baseball and that is the biggest problem. They don't play baseball. 
they overmanage, get them into situations like tonight where they lose a game that they should have easily won and it's frustrating. You guys, let me know your comments down below in the comment section. At the end of the day, it, it's it's frustrating as a fan and uh, it sucks because this will never change because Dave Roberts is the yes man. He's the yes man and, and he, he's okay with this, right? He's getting paid millions of dollars, who cares? At the end of the day, it's all about profit with the Dodgers, not championship so that being said i'm gonna sign off before i do sign off i want to shout out to my man l nelson l nelson i appreciate you man i appreciate everybody for the support that watching my videos whether you like it whether you're commenting or you're just a lurker i appreciate you with that being said i hope to see you guys in the next one and i'll talk to you guys again later